Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So I'm cutting down the intros a little short, trying to experiment with certain things and seeing if I can go to a more slimmed down approach to doing videos. So, um, you know what today is. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. That's right, it's Friday and it's Female Friday. So what I do is I showcase some of the better female artists that are out there, past, present, or future, and I present them to you guys. And I want to know what you guys think. What, what, what was uh, what was the first time you heard it? Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, what are you, what, what's your thoughts? Now, if you are still here, please don't forget to hit that like button the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So the first video I'm going to do tonight is Hole. And if you know Hole, uh, that was run by Courtney Love and it was a band. Now the song that I'm doing is Gold Dust Woman, which is a cover of a Fleetwood Mac song. But it was also on the, the Crow City of Angels soundtrack and I never heard this song I can honestly tell you but when I listened to the first couple of chords and heard the electric guitar and just kind of slowly coming in there I was like okay stop I can do a true reaction to this video you know of course Hole had other hits like Jennifer's Body and Doll Parts and things like that but here's the weird thing they're all Vivo videos. Now, I could find live ones, but, you know, Courtney Love doesn't have the greatest appearance live. It always looks like she's drunk or hungover or just coming off of doing drugs. And it could be all of the above. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to character assassinate her like that. Um, I will say the one thing I did not like is that every time I went to, when I as soon as I type in, Courtney Love. The videos that popped up, I just think are atrocious. They're still trying to attribute Courtney Love uh, killing Kurt Cobain. And you know, to have to live through that after over 25 years, 95, 2005, 2015, yeah, over 25 years to have to live with people always out there going like, you murdered Kurt Cobain, and da 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 That's absolutely horrible to say. Um, and to, to know that that still is out there. It, it won't go away because it's the internet. It just when One person says it, it's out there forever. So for that, you know, I always thought Courtney Love was a great uh, artist. And her acting role that got her her Academy Award nomination for The People vs. Larry Flint, I thought were top-notch. So I really have nothing against her, except for sometimes she has a really, really bad attitude and she acts like a diva. And you know what? That's her right. I don't live in her world. She doesn't live in my world. So whatever she wants to do, she can do. I just want to listen to the music. So without any further ado, here is Hole and Gold Dust Woman. And here we go.
Alright, so that was Hole and Gold Dust Woman. Now, I actually <clears throat> like that song. And you can kind of hear how that is a, a Stevie Nicks or a Fleetwood Mac song. Uh, because it still had, you know, because it, it was written by Stevie Nicks. So, of course, she's writing it to her vocal ranges. So, even when somebody does a cover, like Courtney Love, it's still going to have that twinge in there where it's like, I can hear Stevie Nicks singing this song if you've never even heard the original, which I don't think I have. I'd have to listen to the original and go like, oh, okay, or it doesn't make any sense. Now, I'm going to do my impression of Courtney Love in this song. Now, imagine if I had hair. This is all she's really doing throughout the video. That's it. Uh, that's all she keeps putting her hands in her hair and, and like doing it back. And it's like, whoo, got to find out another move, chick. Um, but um, I did like it, and, and I always did like Courtney Love in the mid-90s, because that's when she actually kind of cleaned up her act. At, at least she cleaned up her appearance. And then you realize that this is a very good-looking woman. You know, you don't have to wear all that lipstick and you'd be pasty white, and <clears throat> even though she is white, but you know, pasty. Um, and she's not a half bad singer. I mean, she's not known for her vocals as far as like being like a, a Marian Anderson or, or you know, Rita Franklin or something like that. But her vocals work in the style of music that she's doing. It's gritty. It's, um, it's grimy. And originally, Hole started off as like a punk rock band. And so, um, at least until that, this time period, she was still kind of rooted in that. But then if you talk to other people, it's like, man, you're doing songs for movies, man. You're now with the establishment. You know what? Everybody's got to eat. You know, just because you want somebody to be poor doesn't mean that they have to be poor. Because, you know, they don't have to be. So um, that's all I can say about uh, Hole and Gold Dust Woman. Uh, the song is actually about... Uh, cocaine. So, just so you know, uh, I found out in an article that when Courtney Love asked Stevie Nicks what it meant, and she was talking about cocaine. So, I thank you for staying tuned, and I do appreciate you, and I'm on my way. I think I only need about 35 more subs uh, to reach my goal of 700, and then we can just start and keep on going with my next goal, which is, if it's possible, to get a thousand by the new year. So, in order for me to do that, I need for you guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.